Happy August 10th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and the party spent an evening of merriment at the Fun Guys Saloon in the Mushroom City of Longwatch. We did some dancing, we made some friends. We're broke, so we didn't play any... Uh, there, there was a game of recruits going on, a dice game. Uh, and that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you try to enjoy a social evening in the tavern, but the hourglass begins to whine loudly. It draws the attention of everyone in the place. You take it out to the back of the saloon so it won't hurt anyone. The hourglass seems to be in its final twinkle of hope. It pulses brightly in violent waves before darkening abruptly. The cursed power within swells before bursting out. And we are going to, one, try to endure the surge, and two, channel the energy. Um, and we know how this works. If we fail this, we get cursed. The curse is brutal, but we do have a cleansing crystal that can remove it. So we'd like to not have to spend that, hang on to that, but uh, let's see. Here we go. Endure the Surge. Roll d20 plus Constitution. Reminder Danger Sense. 16 um, plus 2 Constitution plus 2 Danger Sense is 20. That's by far the best result. You steel yourself against the powerful corrupted energy, demonstrating resilience. All right. Uh, otherwise, we will have lost some health. And now, now the important part: uh, channel the energy. This is going to be wisdom. Uh, reminder: arcane adept. We are not an arcane adept, nor is anybody in our party. Is that right? Yeah. I thought we hired Brent. Oh, he's an investigator. Our our tech mage. Okay, um, as the surge of corrupted power courses through your body, you must concentrate on maintaining control and preventing the curse from overwhelming you, using your inner strength to resist its adverse effects. We have a brilliant hourglass, um, so uh, they, they did this again, you take a minus two penalty. I don't think that's right. I think that, and they're all minuses. Oh, maybe it's just getting stronger. Okay, if, you, if it's a worse penalty. <laughs> Did I do that wrong last time? I don't know. Maybe I messed up last time. But, uh, yeah, we're taking a minus two penalty. Um, it could be worse. could be slightly better. Okay, roll d20 plus wisdom. Ugh, six <laughs> plus two is eight. Um, we're not an arcane adept. We have... Uh, we don't have a boon die. We do have a sage leaf. And if we rolled a four on that, we, and we have a plus one, we'd get five. Eight plus five is 13. That's still not enough. We'd have to have tank come through. So a tank would have to come through, and we'd use our sage leaf. So let's see. Tell you what. If, uh, if tank... If Tank can help us, then we'll try this, the Sage Leaf. Am I doing the math right? Six plus two wisdom is eight. And so we need, um, oh no, we need seven. That's not going to happen. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> You're off the hook, Tank. Um, we're not going to get it. Okay, check out my math one more time. Six, seven, eight. We need seven more points. The most we can get with the Sage Leaf is five. We'd need two more points, and Tank can only get us one. So that is it. We are uh, cursed. Let's see. The corrupted power resists your attempts to overcome it. It intensifies within you, causing a surge of chaotic energy that affects your control and precision. Precision. You are now cursed. Um, so just as a reminder, if you are experiencing a curse... When asked to roll for one of your hero's traits, uh, these guys, strength, dexterity, constitution, etc., make this roll twice and take the lesser result that's rolling with disadvantage. This condition is removed during a rest 
or if you consume a cleansing crystal. Um, we are in town, but we were just at the, I think we just had two chances to rest. So knowing the calendar, it's going to be a month before we get to rest again. So, um, I think we're going to go ahead and use that cleansing crystal. So we will mark that off. I don't know how you use it. Wave it over your head or throw it on the ground and stomp it or... I don't think you swallow it. <laughs> Generally, swallowing crystals not a good idea. Uh, so there we go. That's not erasing. There. Bye bye, cleansing crystal. Now I kind of wish we'd bought a spare. Um, okay. Um, this is this is Saturday and Sunday, so we can play the Sunday Lottery. Let's do that. We roll a six-sided die. We're here in town in Long Watch, so um, we wander over to the Sunday Lottery office. I, s I assume it's in late at night, but they're open. They're always open. We, we play the Sunday Lottery. We get a five, which I think... Um, oh, we, done, we didn't have... It costs two to play. Maybe we couldn't play it. Maybe they spot us. Somebody spotted us two, <laughs> two Amber. Uh, and we gained, I don't know what would have happened if we lost, but we just gained three Amber. Some kind soul who uh, thanked us for um, taking the cleansing crisp or the, uh, the brilliant hourglass out back and saving the saloon from being cursed. Um, Slipped us two amber, which we promptly went and gambled with. <laughs> not also, not good advice, kids. Don't do this at home. But we gained three amber, uh, and we returned the two amber to our to the friend who lent us to it. Maybe we'll return three. So we're up. They gave us two amber. We won three more. We give. Uh, we give that kind soul an amber, and we keep two for ourselves. That's his interest on the loan. Okay, well, in any case, that, my friends, is August 10th and 11th, so we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you will join us. Thanks for watching.